Pagak Entry Point. For months now, it has been the escape route for thousands of South Sudanese refugees, all fleeing the latest round of strife in South Sudan. Nayabuka Lam arrived in September. Her village, Mabang, was ambushed. Armed men shot her husband and three young children in the night. Hidden by a wall, she survived along with her one and a half year old daughter. The killing went on for an hour, she explained. Many people died. And there was no time to even bury them. The survivors fled, walking for 15 days to reach Pagak. The influx has been steady. Since the conflict has not been resolved, we expect that we're likely to, to receive. It's still continuing. They are still continuing to come in. Newly arrived, Nabuka has not been registered yet. She has to wait, and so for now, she is getting help from other refugees. To get food and medical assistance, she must be registered. Eight months into the crisis, over 190,000 refugees have come into Ethiopia. But the arrival of the rainy season has only added to the difficulties of helping the refugees. Most of the settlements in some of the areas are flooded. For Nabuka, the challenges are much more personal and daunting. She is now alone. She could not feed her little girl, so she sent her to the nearby local community. She wants her back, but worries about how she will fend for both of them. They are far from home and face little prospect of going back soon. <laughs> 